create premium Alibaba dropshipping website. Hey guys, Rana here and you are watching the ultimate course on Alibaba dropshipping. Do you know what is dropshipping? Well, in this type of business, you are simply selling someone else's product on your own website at higher price without holding a stock and incurring upfront cost. Your job is to import the product from Alibaba into your website and sell it on marked up price. If you have any question regarding dropshipping, you can refer to the video description or you can ask me anything in the comment section. Anyways, when you receive an order on your website, you simply click on this type of magical button which says, Sazam, place an order automatically. And Wizard will start placing an order automatically. You don't have to involve, you don't have to type, the shipping and billing address it will be automatically filled in on alibaba and your customer will receive an order within five to seven days amazing right in addition i'll show you how you can set up e-commerce or you can say this premium alibaba drop shipping website from start to finish this video will be step by step guide like my other videos and first i'll show you what type of hosting is required and why that type of hosting is required because there are several types of hosting out there. I'll show you what type of hosting you need to choose to build this type of premium Alibaba dropshipping website. Once we got the hosting, we will install WordPress and premium theme and plugins. Following that, I'll show you how to import product from Alibaba to your dropshipping store. Additionally, I'm gonna show you how you can turn that imported product into SEO friendly product page so that you can increase your conversion rate. Moreover, I'll show you how to set up payment gateway on your website so that you can receive real payment from real customer. Furthermore, you will learn how to customize this website. All this might sound overwhelming, but believe me, this is going to be a simple and fun to build this website. So without further ado, let's get started. To create a premium dropshipping website, we have three required things, web hosting, domain name and the latest version of iron cube loader if you do not know what is iron cube loader iron cube is a one of the php extension that is required to create this type of premium dropshipping website to get a web hosting and domain name there are several web hosting companies out there but handful of them are the best i usually pick my favorite web hosting company which is when you type in this url in your browser runners vfx dot com slash hostinger press enter and it will take you to hostinger website this is my one of the best web hosting even i know there are other web hosting companies out there who perform in a similar way but there are minor difference between all those different types of hosting it could be a performance difference it could be a uh, difference between price something like that okay and another hosting company that i use is altahost this is also is affordable web hosting company out there. I have created a separate review video on this web hosting. If you're interested in watching that video, you can check out and make your decision if you want to buy hosting from Alta Host. So currently I'm using Hostinger. I have the web hosting. This is basically a shared hosting, but there is a problem with web hosting of Hostinger is that when I try to install a WordPress in this shared hosting, I don't get the latest version of Iron Cube Loader. Even though there is a Iron Cube Loader, but it is not a latest version. I asked the support team to update the Iron Cube Loader, but they says it will be a globally installation. So we cannot install an Iron Cube Loader for one user. However, they gave me a solution, which is buying a VPS hosting. With the VPS hosting, you can install any type of application on your server but it requires some kind of technical knowledge if you go to vps hosting here you can see choose your plan button and here you can see the features of each plan and the price of each package however in alta host i already have the vps hosting plan if you go to hosting vps hosting here you can see these are the plans that you can buy at this price point if you're not comfortable with the dollar you can change the currency from here let's go for Indian rupees and now let's compare the price you can see the basic plan starts with 452 Indian rupees and VPS business 782 and so on all right if any case you don't want to buy VPS hosting either from Hostingo or Alta host you can go to namecheap.com and here under hosting VPS hosting 
you can see these are the plans and these are the features. Okay, you can buy VPS hosting from Namecheap as well. Additionally, let me show you another one of the best hosting company out there, which is Hostgator. You will find all those hosting provider in the video description. By the way, you will find all the links in the video description. Make sure you check out the description box of this video. Anyways, in Hostgator, go to hosting and select VPS hosting. And here you can see the VPS plan as well. Okay, once you decide to buy your VPS hosting from any of these companies, go ahead and buy a VPS hosting. But I personally have the VPS hosting from AltaHost. The best part is they will help you 24 seven. In Hostinger, they might not help you. However, if you still want to buy hosting, VPS hosting from Hostinger, make sure talk with their support team and ask them Will you help me to install any application on my VPS hosting? If they say yes, then go ahead buy a VPS hosting from Hostinger or any of these companies. Make sure to ask the same question to any of these companies. If they say yes, they will help you to install any application on your VPS hosting. Then make sure select that type of hosting company. But in this case, I already have VPS hosting and they help me to install any type of application on my VPS hosting. And the best part is if you make a request to install any type of application, AltaHost support team will install the application by their site. You don't need to involve to install the application. Sit back and relax and let the AltaHost support team help you. If other hosting companies can do the same, then you can buy hosting from their site. Okay. So since I already have the VPS hosting from AltaHost, let me show you what you need to do next. In fact, I have this type of plan, this VPS basic plan. In your case, you can buy any type of plan according to your budget. Okay. Since this plan doesn't come with the free domain name, so you have to buy a domain name separately. However, in this video, I have a good news for you. You don't have to spend your money to buying a domain name separately. I'm going to show you how you can get a free domain name so that you can connect your domain name with your VPS hosting. Okay, so go to google.com and search for domain offer domain offer.net. I think domain offer.net and this is the website. The first website is you can see the URL right here. You will find the same URL in the video description. So you don't have to perform a Google search, go to the description box, click on the link and you will land on this website. And here you can see that if you scroll down, these are the free domain offers section where you can get a domain name for free and .pro domain is free, co.uk domain is free, .uk free. And these are the extensions that you can buy for free. However, if you have some budget, little bit budget like $2.88, which is almost nothing. For .com domain, you can buy this domain from here. Okay. Last time I bought this domain from 0.99. I'll show you some screenshot of that particular offer. But today it is 2.88, but still is worth the money to buy this domain name. Now in order to buy this domain name, click on offer details and click on this button. And this will be the coupon code you have to enter in order to buy the domain at this price. Okay. Click on the open spaceship and here you can see that you have to type the domain name that you want to buy. Just type your domain name fixitro.com and let's click on search and let's see if this is available to buy. So you can see that this domain is available but right now it says $8.48 but don't worry we will add a coupon code and price will decrease. You will get your domain name at $2.88. Click on add to cart and then click on view cart and here you can see the button right here, add promo code, paste the promo code and click apply. It says login required, don't worry. You can click on sign up over here and complete this sign up form and create your account. Click on sign up. Okay, got it. And now you can view the cart. Let's add the promo code. Let's copy the promo code one more time. Come back to this page and paste the promo code and click apply. And now you can see the price reduced to 2.88 which is good. Let's click on checkout. So before buying a domain name, you must do a niche research in order to 
run a profitable dropshipping business. You can call it the very first step to create any type of dropshipping website or any kind of website out there. Do a niche research and go for a one particular niche and then buy a domain name that reflects the mood of that particular niche and has a related keyword to your niche. Today, I'm going to skip that part just because I will create a separate video where I'll show you how to do a proper niche research. If you are interested in watching that video, drop your comment and I'll create a video for you guys. Once you're done with your niche research and decided to buy your domain name, go to this website domainoffer.net and click on the link and here paste the coupon code and pay this amount and get your free domain name. Since I've already have the domain name from spaceship.com, let me show you what to do next. I'm going to close everything over here. Okay, so here you can see this is my original Spaceship account. I've already logged in. You can see that here. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to go to Launchpad, scroll down and you will see a domain list section under the domains. Click on that and now you have to click on your domain name and right side you can see a name servers click on that and here you have to click on the change button select custom dns and here you have to type the name server of your web hosting whether it could be a alta host or hostingo or hostgator or godaddy or any type of web hosting make sure you add that company's hosting company's name server over here and click on save dns and your work is done over here then close it out and as you can see if I show you my Hostinger account, I've hosted several websites over here and I'll have the business web hosting plan and it will expire on 2027. I bought this hosting for four years because I knew this is the one of the best hosting company out there. Anyways, my business web hosting doesn't have the latest Iron Cube loader. Maybe in future they upgrade the Iron Cube loader, but right now they doesn't have the latest version of Iron Cube loader in their shared hosting. So I cannot create a premium dropshipping store in this shared hosting. So since I already have the VPS hosting from AltaHost and now let me show you, I can create a premium dropshipping store using this hosting. Okay. So if you buy a plan from AltaHost, log in into your account and you don't have any kind of technical knowledge to install the applications like cPanel, Hestia control panel or so on. You can do one thing, you can ask the support team like please help me to install Hestia control panel and they will install Hestia control panel for you by themselves. You don't have to do anything. Once they install Hestia control panel, they will send you credentials about your control panel, your FTP client and your SSH and your PHP my admin. With that credential, you can log in into your Hestia control panel your FTP and your SSH and your PHP my admin. After you got your Hestia control panel, which is a free control panel to manage your sites. If you want to install a cPanel on your VPS hosting, you can do that as well, but it might cost you some extra money. So I had decided to install the Hestia control panel, which is the free control panel to manage my site. I asked the support team to install that panel and they will give me the credential. Now, after getting the credential, let's log in to the Hestia control panel. Let's open a new tab. I'm going to go to my Hestia control panel. So this is my login page of the Hestia control panel. Next password. So you can see this is the simplest control panel. There is a nothing complicated. In the top header section, you can see all the buttons like file manager settings and so on and so forth. You don't have to do anything over here. Just follow my steps and install the WordPress. The next step, we are going to add a domain name over here. To add it, go to web, do not change user. There is a one user already. So in the web here, click on add web domain, type the domain name that you have bought from Spaceship or from anywhere. Just type in the domain name and then select the DNS support and mail support and click save. So domain has been created successfully. Now go back. Next, let's go to DNS and select your domain. And here we're going to add two records. Click on add record. So in the record, we're going to delete this at the rate and we're going to type NS1 
and under the IP or value, let's copy the IP address that you can see in your dashboard of your Alta host or from any company out there. I'm showing the steps from the Alta host, but I believe you can find your IP address. If you're not able to find your IP address, you can ask your support team of your company. Okay. So in order to find the IP address, I'm going to click on the service. I'm going to select my plan, scroll down, and this is the IP address. I can copy our IP address from there and paste it over here. After that, click on save changes. Okay. The record has been created. Click back. Let's add one more record. Click on add new. Delete this one. Now this time NS2. Type the IP address and click save. Okay, we have added the two records. Let's go back to web. And here you can see the SSL certificate is not installed. Let's install the SSL. To install it, click on your domain name. Now you can see the unable SSL for this domain. Check this box. And next, make sure you check this one. Use Let's Inscript to domain SSL certificate. And then check this one as well. Unable automatic HTTP as redirect. After that, click on save and wait for a few seconds and it will install the SSL certificate on your domain name. Okay, so you can see that changes have been saved. Let's go back and let's see. If you see that type of green tick mark, that means the SSL certificate has been installed on your domain name. Next thing, we have to install a WordPress. To do it, let's go to your domain name and here you can see the button quick install app click on that and there are so many applications that you can install on your website scroll down you can see the wordpress click on setup site name make sure you type in the site name you can change your site name later on as well next i'm gonna type the wordpress account username account email account password and i'm going to change the php version from 7.4 to 8.1 and make sure you check this option create a database and click save okay wordpress installed successfully you can see that let's go back or you can simply click over the web button so wordpress has been installed the next thing you can do is you can create professional email using this mail button click on mail and here to create a professional email click on your domain name click on add mail account type the account name i'm going to type support in the right side you can see your email should like this support at the rate your domain name.com. This is what we call a professional email. Let's type the password. Let's look at the advanced option. You don't have to change anything over here. After that, you click save. You can access your mailbox just by going to this link. Let's click on save. So mail has been created. Let's access your mail. Click on the link. Open link in a new tab. And here, let's type your username, which is this one support at the rate fixride.com and type your password let's log in and let's see so you can see that this is going to be your professional mailbox if you want to connect your professional email with your gmail account you can do that as well with this imap settings or pop3 settings or smtp settings in a separate video i'll show you how you can use a professional email in your gmail application in your android phone okay but right now you can access your mail using this link okay let's close this out and our job is done before moving further let me walk you through this hestia control panel from the database you can download your database or you can edit your database if you want but if you are totally beginner do not mess with your database do not change anything leave it as it is and in the backup tab you can download your website backup from here. In the top bar, you can see if we have the file managers, two types of file managers, and we have settings, server settings, and so on. So this is why people call Hestia panel is a easy to use control panel to manage websites. Anyways, your job is done over here. Now you can access your website just by typing this URL. Your domain name slash WP dash admin Make sure you type in this URL and press enter and you will redirect to the login page of your website. Type your username and your password and click on login. Remember we have created the username and password during when we installing the WordPress. So make sure remember that information. Now type that information and click on login. So this is your WordPress dashboard and let's close these tabs because we don't really need them. Let's close this one as well. And now let me clear up my dashboard i'm going to remove these elements from my home screen 
because I like to work with neat and clean design. You can see that if you click on this lock icon, connection is secured, SSL certificate by ESET has been installed on your site. So we're done with this step, let's proceed with the next step. In this step, we are going to look at the essential settings of WordPress. To do it, hover your mouse over settings and click on general. By the way, this is the backend of your site. The visitor won't see or won't have the access into the backend of your site. Only admin can access the backend of your site. Using the backend, you can customize your website. That's all it means. The visitor of your website or you can say the customer on your website will see the front end of your site, which looks like this. Let me show you. When you hover your mouse over here, visit your site open link in a new tab you can see this is the default look of your wordpress site and this is a 2023 theme and there's nothing here only one post hello world which is a dummy post so this is the default look of your site and when we finish building our site your site turn into something incredibly amazing so let's close this out and let's look at the essential settings of wordpress in the left hand side uh, click on the settings general here you can see the site title. You still have option to change your site title. In the tagline, you can type the tagline. This is a premium dropshipping store for international dropshipping. So I've decided to sell car gadgets. So I'll simply call it car gadget store. Or you can type in whatever you like. Next, WordPress address and site address URL should be the same as you can see. Once you verify that, next the administrator email address. Make sure you type in your real administrator email to receive an update about your site. Next, membership. Make sure you check this option. Anyone can register on your site. If you don't want others to create an account on your site, you can uncheck it. But I recommend you to allow others to create account on your website so that they can track their orders when they place an order on your site. After doing it, next we have the new user default subscriber, contributor, author, or what? When you install a WooCommerce plugin, there will be another option, customer. Come back to this option and change the role to customer. Next, site language, English, United States, time zone, select your time zone. I'm going to leave it as a default because, you know, we're doing a international dropshipping. Date format, time format, completely fine for me. Week starts on, it's okay too. Cliff changes, skip the writing and reading. Let's go to discussion. And here, make sure all the options just like mine. You can pause the video and you can copy exact same setting. Once you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes at the very bottom. This is crucial. It will keep your changes saved. Next, we have the media. We're going to skip it. Let's go to permalinks. This is very important settings in terms of SEO. SEO means search engine optimization. And I believe you're already familiar with it. If not, check out the description box and read the full information about SEO. And here, make sure you select the post name and scroll down, click on save changes. So before we proceed further, I want to tell you one important thing. When you start building your website, you may have to go back and forth to change some settings of your site. There is a no straight step that you can do. Sometime you have to come to this page or that page so many times in order to customize or create or build your website. Okay, so you may have to come to this page later on or any settings of your site to so keep in mind that Anyways, let's look at the privacy and here you can see we have the privacy which is the default privacy policy page and we have the sample page. This is the default privacy policy or dummy privacy policy page. You have to create your own privacy policy page. You can do this by clicking on the create button or you can go to pages, add new and here you can create your own privacy policy page. In fact, let me create a new privacy policy so that you can understand how to create a pages on your website. In the title, type privacy policy. And in the description, you can go to the description box of this video and copy a privacy policy content from there and paste the content over here, just like it. All you have to do is you have to change these email. First of all, you have to select the email and you have to delink it, just like it, by clicking over here. This is a Glutenberg editor, guys. In past, we used to use the classic editor. You still can use the classic editor if you if you don't feel good with the gluten work. In order to install a classic editor, you have to install a plugin. Okay. Anyways, you have to type in your email over here. Remember, we have created our email and type in the email address over here. Once you do it, highlight it and press Ctrl K and it will add a link, mailing link. When someone click on it, the person will redirect to their mailbox. And from there, 
they can contact you. Anyway, scroll down and let's see if there is anything else that we want to change. Yeah, we have to delete it. Just let me delink it, delete this one and type in the email of mine or you can say this website email. If there is any domain name, you have to replace that domain name with your own. Okay. And of course, you can change anything from here if you already know how to create or type a privacy policy for your site. This is my other website privacy policy or you can say an e-commerce privacy policy page that I've created or I use on all my e-commerce website. You will find the content in the video description. Make sure you check out description. Once you do it, click on publish. Hit publish once again and your page will be created. You can view the page by clicking over here. So you can see this is the privacy page. Let's close this out. And now let's how you mouse over pages and all pages open link in a new tab. So now you can see there are two privacy policy pages. This is the draft privacy policy and these two are published one. Let's look at this one which is already published. Let's view the page and let's see. You can see this is the published page and this is the page that we have created. Let's close this out and we have to remove this one the draft. Click on trash button remove it. Let's remove this one done. We are done here. Let's come back here in the settings privacy refresh. Now you can see it says the missing privacy policy page. Go ahead and select the privacy policy page that we have created just now. Now click on use this page and you're good. It says privacy policy page updated successfully. You are done with the essential settings of WordPress. Let's close this one and let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step. In this step, we are going to install a premium Alibaba drop shipping plugin that allow us to import product directly from Alibaba website. To install that plugin, open a new tab and type in this URL runasvfx.com slash ali dash add-ons and you will find the same URL in the video description. Now press enter and it will take you to Ali Dropship website and this is the one of the best and oldest company in this industry dropshipping business just designed for the dropshipping purposes who can provide you premium plugins and theme and so many other things. Right now, we need a plugin that allow us to import product from Alibaba.com. When you land on this website, scroll down at the very bottom and you will find this plugin right here, Alibaba Dropshipping. And this is a newly launched plugin for Alibaba Dropshipping. To get this plugin, click on it and now it will take you to this website. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it will take you to this page. It called Sazam, I think. Okay. And here you can buy this plugin only for $99. And this will be one time payment. Once you buy this plugin, you will get a lifetime update. So I think this is worth the money to buy this plugin. Buy the plugin once and run your business forever. And if you scroll down, you can see why choose dropshipping with Alibaba. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can see the real manufacturer is Alibaba, fair price and international warehouses, product customization and quality control. Now let's see how this system works, which I've already explained to you in the beginning of this video. Step one, you install the plugin. Step two, you import the product. Step three, customer purchase the product from your store. Step four, Alibaba ship the product to your customer. Step five, you keep your profit. Okay, so dropshipping business works in five steps but to building your website there are more than five steps anyways go ahead buy the plugin to buy this plugin click on this button and here type in your email and your card details and pay this amount if you buy the plugin from the link in the video description you may get more discount for this plugin but still this is worth the money to buy it this is one time payment go ahead buy the plugin since i've already have the plugin i'm not gonna buy this again let's close this out Let's go back to your dashboard. Once you buy the plugin, hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new because it's time to install it. When you buy a premium plugin, you will get a zip file. Now we have to upload that plugin file over here. So this is my plugin file. Let's drag and drop the plugin over here. Click on install now. Now click on activate. All right guys, so plugin has been activated successfully. Now let's remove these two plugins. Check this box and go to bulk action, select delete, click apply, click OK and useless plugin or not required plugin will be removed. Anyways, there is one most important thing 
to keep in mind that when it comes to installing a special or premium plugin or theme, when you buy a plugin, they will give you a license key to download your plugin. When you try to download your plugin, you will get an option to select a PHP version. Select the same PHP version that you have in your hosting. With that, you won't get any type of error. If your plugin or theme PHP version is different than your hosting, you will get an error. And make sure the Iron Cube loader is up to date. If it is not up to date, then ask your VPS hosting support team to update the Iron Cube loader on your website. They will update your Iron Cube loader as well. Okay? To avoid these type of error, keep these things as well and make sure to check out the important information in the description box as well so that you won't get any type of error anyways plugin has been installed now it's time to install a theme let's go to new tab and type in this url run svfx.com slash a w w and press enter and it will take you to the same website ali dropship but in a different page this is the andy warthol Wu theme this is the amazing theme guys I have chosen this theme for some reason. Once you're done building your website, in the end, I'll show you how you can convert your website into an Android app so that you can publish that app on Google Play Store. Once your app will be published, you can add your app link on your site so that people can place an order through your application as well. And it will increase the authority of your website. This is the one of the oldest trick from e-commerce book, having an Android app will increase the conversion rate of your website okay so again this will be one-time payment just like your plugin and this is the price of your theme if you want to check out the demo you can check out the demo as well so you can see this is the demo website that we will create in this video okay exactly like you have seen in the beginning of this video let's close this out and go ahead buy the theme click on the buy theme button and here you have to add your information and your payment information and complete the payment. This is worth the money to buy this theme since I already have the theme. I'm going to close this out and let's install a theme. To install a theme, hover your mouse over appearance, click on themes. Right now by default there are three themes. Let's delete these useless or unwanted themes. Select it, click delete, click OK. We cannot delete this one, this is activated now but you can delete this one later on. Click on add new. Let's install a newly theme that we have and now drag and drop your theme file. So this is my theme file. Drag and drop over here. Click on install. Now activate theme. Okay. So theme has been activated successfully. Let's go to dashboard. Now we need to add the license key into the plugin and into our theme. Let's add the license key into the theme first. Let's have your mouse over theme and click over here and add your license key and then click save. So congratulations, your license has been activated. Now refresh the page. Now it says you have to install all those required plugins. We'll install them later, but first let's activate the Suzam plugin. Have your mouse over Suzam and click on license and paste the license key over here and activate. So license is valid, please go to settings. Let's refresh the page. Now you can't see the settings over here. Refresh the page and let's see. Now let's go to the dashboard first. And now have your mouse over Sazam and click on Auth and Import. So here you can see we have to add the Alibaba dropshipping pavilion code. But before we set up the Sazam plugin, let's install the required things like this theme says. Let's go to Andy Warhol Wu General. And here you can see these are the required plugins and some recommended plugins and by default these plugins are checked next and make sure you install the Joost SEO and this one and click on install plugins and here you can see that the install demo and pages and WooCommerce categories navigation widgets and settings all turned on it may install the demo content as well if not we will install the demo content so that it would be easier for us to customize our website. So wait for a few minutes. So this process may take some time. So I'm going to speed the video up and I'll come back once it's done. So guys, during the process of installation of these plugins, I've got error with the WooCommerce plugin. So I had to change my PHP version and I come back to this page 
and now I'm able to install all the required plugins. The PHP version currently I'm using the 7.4 and my Sazam PHP and my theme PHP version is a 7.2 plus. Currently I'm using this version of PHP in both my plugins and theme as well as on my website. So without any issue, I'm able to install all those required plugins and themes. So right now it is installing the next end social login. It is activating. Oh, it's taking so much time. So let me go back to my plugins area. Plugins all installed plugins. Let's see if that plugin is bothering. No, plugin is activated. Now here it says activating. Let me refresh the page. Let's see. So you can see the plugin is activated. The Yoast plugin is left. Let's first of all, let me uncheck all of them. Select the Yoast SEO. This one only because all those plugins are activated. Only Yoast SEO plugin is left. Select it. Click on install plugins. And the plugin will install as well. Activated. Done. The next thing that I want to do is I want to install a child theme. Let's click on install child theme. So child theme has been installed and activated. Now, if you hover your mouse over here, visit your site, open link in a new tab, you will see your site like this. There's a nothing here, no content here. Okay, let's close this out. And now we're going to install a demo content. To do it, make sure you check all of these options and click on install demo. Now wait for a few minutes, it will install all the required forms, pages, WooCommerce, so on and so forth. So you can see that demo content was installed successfully. Now, if you visit your site, open link in a new tab, and you can see all the things has been installed successfully. The only thing is left is the products. Okay, so let's close this one. Come back here. Now it's time to configure the Sazam plugin. Let's go to Sazam. So it is the Yoast SEO pop-up comes off first. Then no worry. Let's click on Sazam once again. And now here you can see we have to add the Alibaba dropshipping pavilion code over here. To get the code, you have to authorize the Sazam plugin with Alibaba account. Make sure you have Alibaba account. If it doesn't have Alibaba account, you have to create your own Alibaba.com account. So go to Alibaba.com and create your account if you don't have. Since I already have account, so you can see I've already logged in. After login, come back to your site, click on authorize. By the way, I'm using Firefox browser right now, but later we will switch the browser from Firefox to Chrome. So here you can see overseas open authentication. Please authorize this service. Sazam to access your data on our express. Please select the authentication time, six month, three month. Let's go for six month. This is the higher and click on this box and click on authorize. After six months, you may need to authorize your plugin again, okay? And which is free, you don't have to pay anything. And now click on authorize once again. And now you can see the code right here. Copy the code, come back to your site, paste the code over here and click on code verification. And look at here. So you can see it says save. Now you are ready to import product from Alibaba.com. You can close this out and come back to your site. And here you can see we have the direct import from Alibaba. If you click over here, it will open dropshipping.alibaba.com. So now let me switch my browser from Firefox to Chrome and I'll see you there. All right, guys. So you can see I've switched my browser from Firefox to Chrome browser, Google Chrome browser. Now I'm inside the Sazam auth and import and here you can see this button is visible. Click on the direct import from Alibaba. It will open Alibaba website. I've already logged in into this browser as well on my website. Now URL says dropshipping.alibaba.com. And from here, you are ready to import product. You can see there are so many products to choose from. To import product, you can click on add to import list or you can go inside the product page before importing the product to see the details about the product. Alibaba constantly adding new products, suppliers and filters for better search experience. You can see, so let me quickly find the product that related to my niche. So I plan to import car accessories. Let me search for car accessory 2023. Let's see, you can use this filter 
to improve your search results okay new arrival hot selling click on hot selling you can see these are the hot selling products but not related to my niche let's go for all okay i have to search the car accessory once again so find the product that you want to import in this case if i want to import this product i can click on add to import list or i can go inside the product page open link in a new tab and from here i can verify the product as you can see i can see the product page by scrolling down and i can see the verification information about the seller i can see the verified information company profile and transactions over time okay so once you're happy with the product you can import the product let's go back here click on add to import list it says import field please try another product to import okay let's import this one so you can see it says import completed click ok let's import try to import this product once again add to import list i'm not able to import this product no problem let's close this one let's click on add to import list once again no i think the product may be out of stock or something else don't worry you can find similar product on alibaba you can keep scrolling down and find the similar product anyways let's try to import the different product let's click on add to cart so you can see that product has been imported successfully click ok so in this way you can import as many product as you want let's try to import different product let's try to import this one so product has been imported and if you notice that there is a less shipping time as you can see one to five days one to three days one to seven days one to five days which is very important guys for every drop shipping website out there okay let's go back to your website hover your mouse over products and click on all products open link in a new tab and let's see if we have the products on our website all right guys so as you can see that we have successfully imported the product directly inside our website now you can view the product just by clicking on preview button open link in a new tab and let's preview the product page okay so this is our amazing product page guys as you can see you don't have to do anything each and everything has been imported directly from alibaba and now you can go to the product details and here you can see all the information all the images each and everything that you have seen on the alibaba.com will be imported directly into your store amazing right so let's close this out and you can see we have imported the three products and you can see the sazam tag over here and these products are under the pending these are not published i think let's edit the product and let's see if those products are published or not you can see these products are not published so before we publish the product i'll show you how to turn your product page into seo friendly product page so that there is a higher chance to bring more conversion into your product page okay so let's close this out and close this one as well and close the alibaba as well just for now if we may need to import more product from alibaba we can come to this page anytime and click on direct import from alibaba and we can start importing the products okay but now let's look at the updates under the sazam plugin and here you can see the products update settings apply to all categories and if you have different types of category you can select the category and update the products settings like products price attributes visibility and so on and next you can see when a product disappear or is out of stock what should happen do nothing or set the quantity to zero send to draft or restore now it's all up to you but i recommend you to set the quantity to zero or you can send it to draft both is a fine do not show the product that isn't available if you shows the product on your website that doesn't available on alibaba then how are you going to supply that product to your customer okay so keep uh, set to zero keep the second option or third option which is very important and next you should check this box to receive a notification about this activity when a variation disappear or out of stock what should happen same thing disable variation or set to zero this would be the right option so make sure you set this option and again check this box notify me when the price changes what should happen update automatically this is very important guys keep this settings 
this is very important guys and again notify me if you want to when stock changes what should happen update automatically again notify me or you can click on activate auto update it will automatically update on daily basis weekly or monthly daily works the best click on save changes if you make any changes okay it will automatically update the product if any case you import the product and want to update the settings of the product manually click on update button it will process in the background and automatically update your product page okay very useful next we have the pricing now here we have to add the pricing formula you can add a pricing formula manually or you can use the recommended one click on add recommended it will add the recommended pricing formula which is absolutely fine if any case if you want to increase your margin you can always click over here the pencil icon and increase your margin from here this is very simple guys if you want to know how this pricing formula works you can always click over here how it works and it will take you to the article of this website here you can read the article and learn more about the pricing formula okay so this is good one finally click on save changes and this is i forget to mention that this is a price rounding if you want to round the price you can do that as well so i like to keep it as it is this is update price and reset price do not click on these buttons okay you are good to go we're done with these azam plugins let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed to the next step in this step we are going to look at the woocommerce plugin settings over your mouse over woocommerce and click on settings so here you can see that we have a bunch of tabs over here we have general product and so on we we'll look at them one by one in the general we have store address here you have to type in your store address so i'm going to type in my store address so i'm going to type something like this after typing your address we have the general option here we have the selling location sell to all countries sell to all countries except for this country or that country or sell to specific countries only if you want to target only specific countries i select the specific countries where i like to drop ship my products for example i usually select australia canada united kingdom and of course the united states next we have the shipping location ship to all countries you sell to or ship to all countries ship to specific countries only disable shipping and shipping calculation so when i ship to all countries you sell to select the first option next uh, leave this as it is enable taxes if you want to charge a tax on the product you can enable the taxes so i'm going to enable this one and next we have the enable coupons this is very useful option for engage more customer scroll down we have the currency option currency position currency type and select from here i'll go with united states dollar this is going to be default currency for my product page or you can say all the products available on my website and the rest of the things are good for me if you make any changes don't forget to click on save changes next we have the products let's look at the products so here shop page should be shop which is already selected if it is not make sure you have your right shop page selected the shop page can be created by woocommerce short code okay next we have the add to cart behavior redirect to the cart page after successfully addition i'm gonna uncheck it i'm gonna leave this unchecked enable ajax add to cart button on archives this is very important make sure you check it and next we have the placeholder images you can increase or decrease the number from here i usually keep it to six for all my website weight unit if you're selling heavy product then it should be kg kilograms if you're selling light products you can display as a gram or there are other weight unit available over here select according to your product type next we have the dimension unit again you have to select this option according to your product type next we have the reviews make sure you enable the product reviews and show verified owner label on the customer reviews make sure you check all of these options except this one reviews can only be left by the verified owner okay so make sure you uncheck this one if you make any changes on this page click on save changes now let's look at the inventory in the same product tab so in the inventory make sure the manage stock should be checked and the whole stock minute you can increase or decrease the number from here 30 minutes it's fine however if you want to increase the time you can change the time over here or you can decrease the time as well by changing this number next we have the notification make sure you check both of these option and 
type in your real email if you like to receive email notification at your email. The rest of the things are good here. If you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes. And next we have the downloadable products. We don't deal with the downloadable products because we are selling a physical product on this website. Approved download directory. Skip this and let's look at the advanced. So under the advanced, make sure you check the first option. Use the product attribute lookup table for catalog filtering and click on save changes. Just follow the exact same settings guys. Do not skip anything. Let's look at the text tab. So under the text option, do not change anything unless if you're drop shipping your product in the country where is a text class is different. Okay, so do not change anything over here. Now, if you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes. Now let's go straight to the standard rate. And over here, I will provide you a file that you have to import in order to create a table. And that table will work only for us country okay if you want to create text classes for other countries just drop your comment and i will create separate types of text classes for that type of country anyways let's import the file click on import csv file you have to choose your file over here remember to download the file in the video description let's choose the file so this is my text read file now select your file and then click on open and click on upload file and import it will import the text rate for United States country. Okay, it says all done. Click on view text rate. Let's go to standard rate. We're not going to use the reduced rate or zero rate. We'll use the standard rate. So as you can see, all the data has been imported or you can say the table has been imported. You don't have to do anything over here. Anyways, you can either remove the reduced rate or zero rate because this is not necessary. Let's remove it and click on save changes. Like I mentioned before, we may have to go back and forth. So make sure you watch the entire video. Do not skip any part of the video if you want to create a premium Alibaba drop to your website. Anyways, let's go to the shipping. Here we will create a shipping zone. Since we are doing a drop shipping, there is enough margin. So we will create a free shipping zone for our customer. And this will be a plus point for our website. When someone visit your site and see product comes with the free shipping there is a most likely chance to get a sale okay so this is a also a plus point to create a free shipping zone let's go ahead click on add shipping zone type the zone name i'm gonna call it free shipping zone region i'm gonna select the country where i'm selling my products united states australia canada and of course united states and then click on save changes now click on add shipping method and go to drop down menu select free shipping click on add shipping method now click on add it and we have the condition and we have the title title will be the free shipping and the requirement or you can say the condition not available a valid free shipping coupon or any of this i'm going to select not available click on save changes so there you go we have created a free shipping zone click over here next do not change anything under the shipping option and shipping classes and next we have the payments tab we'll skip the tab just for a moment, we'll come back here and we'll add a payment gateway method inside our website. Just for now, let's skip this one and let's proceed with the next tab, account and privacy. Here you can see we have the guest checkout. And make sure you check allow customer to log in into existing account during checkout. Enable this option, allow customer to create an account during checkout. Check this one as well. Check this one only if you have set up SMTP on your website. Sometimes what happens is WordPress not able to send an email to a new user. So I'm going to uncheck this one. Remember, check this only if you have SMTP setup. Scroll down, you don't have to change anything. Rest of things are good here. Click on save changes. Let's go to emails. So here, make sure first three emails should be your guys. If it is not, then you have to change it just by clicking on manage button. Click over here, click on the manage button. And here, make sure you type in your professional email that we have created. Okay, it should be like sport at the rate your domain name.com. This will be your professional email, just like it. Okay, click on save changes. Let's go back by clicking over here. Now change the other two as well. All right, so as you can see, I've changed my first three emails from Gmail to my professional email. Okay. Next, you can skip the integration. Let's go to the advanced tab. And here you can see 
we have the page setup, we have the cart page, we have checkout, my account and terms and condition page. By default, these pages are selected. If it is not, then you have to create these pages just by adding the short code of WooCommerce plugin. Next, we have the terms and condition page. You must create your own terms and condition page. If you do not know how to create a terms and condition page, you can go to the description box of this video and copy the entire content. In fact, let me create a terms and condition page for you. I'll go to pages, add new, open link in a new tab. In the title, add the title. So right now, this is a classic editor. By the way, this is a classic editor. Last time we have used Glutenberg editor to create the privacy policy page. After installing a theme, now we have the classic editor plugin installed separately on our website. So that's why the look has been changed as well. Anyways, in the description box, you will find the content. Copy the content of your terms and condition, paste it over here, just like it. All you need to do, just change this URL or the domain name with your own. Are you going to do it? Copy it, copy your domain. First of all, I'll link it, select it, delete it, paste it, or you can type in manually. Again, select everything, press Ctrl K and type your domain name. Let's copy the link, paste it over here and then click on the gear icon. Check this option, open link in a new tab, click on update and there you go. After doing it, select everything, copy it. If there is any mistake, you can check it anytime and next, after copying it, if you find other domain link on this page, simply highlight it and delete it and paste your own. So I'm going to quickly replace these domain names. After replacing this, you are good to go. However, if you still want to make some changes on this terms and condition, you can read it and make your own changes. You are free to make any changes on this terms and condition page. Okay, and that's it. Click on publish. Your page will be published. After publishing your page, close this out. Come back to WooCommerce and under the Advanced tab, refresh it. Now, under the Terms and Condition, go to the drop down and search for Terms and Condition. And there you go. We have created the Terms and Condition, but there is a two pages right here. You can see, go to Pages, All Pages, and we have to delete one of the page. First of all, you can see there is a two, two Terms and Condition pages. And this is the terms and condition page that we have created. Let's close this one and let's look at this one. And this is the default terms and condition page. So you can see there are two terms and condition pages. Okay. If there is a no terms and condition page, then you have to create a new one using the content that you can find in the description box. Since we already have terms and condition page, we have to remove one of them. Let's remove this one. Click on trash. Go to trash. Click on empty trash. Let's close this one. Now we have only one terms and condition page. Let's refresh the page once again. Now search it, terms and condition. There you go. Select the page, scroll down. The rest of things are good here. However, if you want to change these labels, you can, you can change them however you like. If you make any changes, don't forget to click on save changes and that'll keep your changes safe. So with that, now let's go to payments tab and let's add a payment gateway on our website so that we can receive a payment from a customer. To add a payment gateway, there are several payment gateways out there. To add a payment method on this website, there are several types of payment gateway out there. When I do international drop shipping, I usually go with PayPal and PayPal is available almost every country out there. So in this video, we look at how to set up PayPal. If you want to enable different types of payment gateway, simply type the name of the payment gateway in the comment section for a video tutorial. I will create a separate video tutorial for that particular payment gateway. Anyways, let's add a PayPal payment gateway on this website. To add a PayPal payment gateway, we have to install a separate plugin. Okay, by default, PayPal is not comes with the WooCommerce plugin. Let's go to plugins, add new, open link in a new tab, come over here and search for PayPal. Now you have to install this plugin, payments plugin for PayPal WooCommerce by Payments Plugin. Click on Install Now and activate the plugin. Once you activate the plugin, you might see this type of pop-up screen. Close this one and let's close the tab. Come back to your Payments tab under the WooCommerce settings. Let's refresh the page and you will see the PayPal Payment Gateway over here. So you can see we got the PayPal Gateway by Payments Plugin. First, you have to enable this. Click on Save Changes. 
Once you enable the plugin, click on Manage button. Okay, so here you can see we have different types of tab here. Let's go to API settings. Under the API settings, you can see we have the environment. Under the environment, we have two types of drop down options sandbox and production. Sandbox to test out your payments. If you want to test out your payments, you can go with sandbox. And if you want to receive real payment, you can go with production. So in the beginning, we will enable the sandbox so that I can show you how you're going to fulfill that order when you receive it on your website. After showing you that, we will turn this environment option to production. Okay, so that you are ready to receive real payments from real customer. It's pretty simple. All you need is a PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, you have to create a new PayPal account. Open a new tab and go to PayPal. And here you have to create an account just by clicking on sign up and make sure to create your business PayPal account. Since I already have a PayPal account, I'm going to click on click to connect and it will open a login window. Let's close this one. And here just type in the email, click next. It says create password. I don't need to create password. I'm going to simply click on login. I'm going to type my email, click next because I've already created a account on this website. So on this browser, I think my PayPal is not working. So let me quickly switch my browser. Sometimes this happens. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to switch my browser from Chrome to Firefox. I was not redirecting to the PayPal. So I had to switch my browser from Chrome to Firefox. So quickly type in the domain name slash WP dash admin in order to log in into the dashboard. All right, guys. So this is my Firefox browser. Let's go back to WooCommerce settings and payments tab let's open paypal payment gateway you can either click over here or you can click on the manage button both are the same thing let's go to api settings so in under the environment first i'll select the sandbox like i mentioned before i'm selecting sandbox just because i wanted to show you how to fulfill your order when you receive it on your website anyway select sandbox click on click connect pop off window will appear paypal let's close this one and here type in your email click next now it may ask you to create an account since i already have account i'm going to log in click on login and type your password i'm going to log in by typing my email and password login to a strong password let me put my paypal in new tab let me log in there first okay so here i was not able to log in so i open a new tab and i'm going to log in here so let me quickly enter the two-factor authentication key from my phone Okay, after login, uh, let's go back here. Let's open the pop-up window. Let's close this one. Now, click on click to connect one more time. So, before I was not able to log in, I had to log in into separate tab. So, after login, I came back to this page and I click on click to connect. Let's type in the email. Uh, select your country. I'm from India. I'm going to select mine. Click next. It says create your account. Uh, type your password. Confirm typing your password. Since I already have account, I'm going to log in. Let's just quickly log in with your email and password. Why it says check your in entries and try again. It just happened, bro. I don't know what's going on here. Let's try with production. Let's click on click to connect. Let's keep this as it is. Click on login. Click next once again. Click login. Now click on login, type in your email and password and let's see. Yeah, it allowed me to connect this PayPal plugin with PayPal account when I select the production but it, but I'm not able to set up the sandbox. Let me quickly manually set up my sandbox. For that, I need sandbox client ID secret key and uh, that's it. Let's go ahead, go to your PayPal account. After that, go to business tools. Let me log in once again to factor authentication. I need to type in that once again. Like I mentioned before, you may have to go back and forth in order to fix things. So I'm inside the business tools here. I need to search for the API. This is the API credential. Select that, click on get started. This is the live API credential. Now click on SOAP credentials, open link in a new tab. This is the developer.paypal.com slash dashboard. This is a link. You can either go to this link. I will provide you a link in the video description. Anyways, here, right now it's a sandbox. If you like to go with live, you can select the live. Let's go to sandbox and now scroll down and click on api credentials okay so here you can see i have created these several apps let's create a new one click on create app type the name of your app fix it tried 
after typing the name select the type merchant next sandbox account select the sandbox account then click on create app so we have created the app this is my client id and secret let's copy the client id by clicking over here copy to clipboard come back to your site paste the sandbox client id and we need to paste the secret key let's copy the secret key come back here paste it over here sandbox webhook id so i'm going to leave it as it is let's click on save changes don't save so you can see status says connected that means our sandbox is ready to test out the payments now come back to this page where we copied the client id and secret key and now scroll down you will see the sandbox account information let's copy the sandbox email and password and save it on notepad because we may need this information later on anyways after that let's come back here we are done with the paypal settings but remember that this is a test mode once you finish building your website then you have to change it to production if you want to receive real payments from real customer anyways let's look at other tabs advanced settings under the advanced settings you can display the name and so on and so forth by default this is a good one you don't have to change anything however if you like to make some changes over here like refund on cancel you can check this box otherwise you can leave these things as it is under the paypal settings here you can change any label that you want or you can customize your paypal button or text however you like but my recommendation is do not change anything over here pay later message over here you can see there are several types of customization that you can change i usually keep it as it is i don't change this okay this is right now disable keep it as it is so with that you're done with the woocommerce plugin settings but later once we finish building this website we'll come to this paypal payment gateway and we'll change the environment to production okay let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step okay before we move to the next step there is one thing that i forget to mention that in the paypal account when you create an app for your sandbox okay like if i go back here and you create an app login expired let me log in once again okay after login when you try to create an app like this you type your name you select your type and then when you try to create an app you don't see your sandbox account in here you have to create a new one before creating an app to create an a sandbox account all you have to do go to home page and here you can see that sandbox account and in this page you can create your own sandbox account by clicking on the create account button you have to create two types of account business and personal account okay so go ahead click on create account select the account type personal and select your country click on create account and then second time when you create your personal account click once again and then create a business account and your account will be created once you create your account then you are ready to create an app sandbox app when you try to create an app then make sure you select your sandbox account from this list once you do it you're good to go okay so now it's time to move further and now let's look at how to create seo friendly product page okay so how we also products all products and if you remember we have imported these products on our store as you can see right here and these products are not published yet to publish the product let's edit the product let's select this one so there are several steps that you have to take in order to turn this product page into seo friendly product page first thing first you have to shorten the product title you can use chat gpt to complete your task go to chat gpt this is a free account first of all copy the title come back to chat gpt you can ask chat gpt please shorten the product title and paste the title that you've just copied and press enter and you can see this is the short title if you want even more shorten you can ask please make it more short okay so we're good here let's copy the title come back here paste the title over here universal car sunroof led and now you can ask chat gpt please write product description on this title so chat gpt has written the description you can see but it is short let's ask him to write 300 words description amazing now copy the description come back here in your product page now remove this one and paste the description just like it and now 
Let's copy the universal car sunroof LED. This will be our focus keyword. Scroll down. And now you see this section, Yoast SEO. Paste the focus keyword. Now you can see it turns into blue. Scroll down. Now under the SEO title, press backspace and remove everything and paste the SEO title over here. And below, change the slug as well. Universal car sunroof LED. And in the meta description, make sure you type the universal car sunroof LED, press spacebar and add some additional text. Let's copy the text from the product description or any of your paragraph. Scroll down and here paste and make some changes in the meta description just like it. So now you can see the SEO is now turned into green. That means SEO of this product page is a good. Now we need to make more changes into this product page. Scroll up and here you can see some FAQ. If you see any word that says this product came from Alibaba or somewhere else, you have to remove that type of text or image. Okay, so make sure you verify each and every word and image. So in this case, I don't like to keep these images. So I'm going to remove it. Okay, we are good here. Next, select your image. Click on the edit button in the alt text paste your focus keyword just like it and click on update in the similar way you have to add the focus keyword on each image you should add focus keyword on minimum four to five images okay once you do it your work is done over here now come to the right side and scroll down you can see we have the project gallery images and make sure these images does not contain any kind of word that represent that this product came from Alibaba or something else. Next, we have the product categories. By default, there are several categories created by dummy theme. So you have to remove those categories. You can do it by going to the products categories, open link in a new tab, go over here. You can see these are the categories that has been created by default. To remove those categories, check this box. Go to bulk action, select delete, click apply and all those default categories will be removed except this one, uncategorize. This will be remain as it is. Now to create a new category, you can either go to categories and here type the name of the category or you can create a new category directly from here. Click on add new category here. Let's type the name of the category. I'm going to call it car accessories. Then click on add new category. So category has been added scroll down now you have to type some tags car categories car gadgets and so on make sure add two or three tags over here if you have a video of the product you can add a url of the video and add the video thumbnail it will also increase your product page visibility on search engine if you are planning to do organic dropship okay let's go ahead scroll up you can see readability is okay but not good like SEO, you can scroll down and see what are the problems here. Let's go to readability and here you can see these are the problems that you have to fix if you want to improve the readability of your product page. If you do not know how to fix them, there is a link and read the article to fix that problem and fix it. However, if readability says, okay, it's completely fine. You have to focus on the design or look of your product page and it should be SEO friendly. Okay, once you finish with all these steps, now you can click on publish. After publishing the product, let's visit your site and let's see how does it appear. Okay, so you can see that the product is now available on our website. Let's open the product in a new tab. Okay, guys, so you can see that this is a super hot product over here verified by shoppers and some bouncy add to cart button color option and we have the other attributes scroll down if you can see we have the product details images and so on so this is how you are going to create a SEO friendly product page and you can see the product category as well amazing right let's close this out and let's close this one as well now let me quickly publish both product just by using the similar method and i'll come back once i done all right guys so you can see that i've added more products on this store so that i can show you the result what it looks like after adding more and more products on your website let's go back to the back end of your site right now i'm inside the dashboard you know 
as you know. This is one thing that I forget to show you guys. In the WooCommerce, go to Settings and uh, Account and Privacy and make sure you check this option if you want your customer to create an account on my account page. Okay, this is very important. If you do not check this, what's going to happen is if I open the same website in a private window. So here you can see if someone visit your site and try to create an account by clicking on my account button or login icon. Here you can see they can just log in, but there is no option to sign up on your website. Let's go back to WooCommerce settings and make sure you enable this option by checking this box and scroll down, click on save changes. And now let's see what will happen. Now we are back on this page, my account page. If we refresh the page, now you can see we have this option available, register and returning customer. Now anyone can register on your website on my account page. However, there are a few other options where your customer can register or create an account on your website, which is the checkout page. In the checkout page, your customer can create an account. So we have added the two options for our customer to create an account. Let's close this out. Okay. After adding this, let's go back to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step. In this step, we are going to look at our theme settings. So this is the Andy Warthol Woo. Let's hover your mouse over the theme name and click on general. In the general settings, you know, we already installed the required plugins and recommended plugins. Now let's look at the single product page. In this page, you can see we have a bunch of options like use WooCommerce default gallery. If you like WooCommerce default gallery, you can check this box. Otherwise, you can use the theme gallery on the single product page. Moreover, on the single product page, we have the product tab open by default product details. If you enable this option, product detail tab will be automatically expand. Let me show you if I open any single product page. And here you can see we have created this beautiful product page earlier. And here you can see these are the collapse now by default. If you want to expand them, when someone open the page, it should be automatically expanded just like it. Then what should you do? Come back to this page and turn on this option and click on save changes. Now, if I close this one and open the same page once again, and now you can see the product detail page automatically expanded or opened just like it. So this is how this works. In a similar way, if you want to expand or open these pages, specific page or shipping and payment tab, you can enable this option. I recommend you to turn off and click on save changes. By default, these are the good ones. Next, we have the product detail tab. Make sure you turn it on. Here you can change the name of that tab. If you want item specify tab, make sure you turn it on. Shipping and payment tab. Here you can type the name of that tab. Shipping and payment is completely fine but the thing that you can change is this content right here if i open any product page and expand this one shipping and payment here you can see this is a shipping and payment tab and if you do not deal with these countries all you can do is just remove these row or column the way you do it come back to this page and here you can see the countries and the delivery time once you make any changes on your shipping and payment don't forget to click on save changes keep scrolling down we have the customer review tab you can enable this option very useful option your visitor will read the review existing review of any product that you have on your website based on that review your customer can make a decision to buy a product so make sure you turn it on next let's look at the woocommerce under the woocommerce of this theme we have a use sidebar shopping cart use shopping cart these are turned on by default, which is good. This is the personal choice option. Show side shopping cart when a product is added to the cart. But before I turn it on, let me show you. If someone buys the product, if I open a new private window, open the website, select any product, click on add to cart. Here, here I have to choose the variant. And then if I click on add to cart, now you can see your product will look like this. Instead of showing that pop-up window, what you can do is let's turn this on, click on save changes. Now let's open new private window. Let's try to buy a product, select the product, choose the variant. Now click on add to cart. Now you can see instead of that pop-up window, 
the side shopping cart will appear from here your customer can view the cart page or they can go to the checkout page by clicking on the checkout button amazing right let's close this out close this one as well if you like that feature click on save changes and you're good to go i usually keep this turned on this is my favorite feature so i keep this turned on so like i mentioned before this is your personal choice if you like that side shopping cart on your website you can turn it on or you can leave it as it is next we have the right to left language support if your website has a language that read right to left then you can turn it on otherwise you can leave it as it is and next make sure you check this option menus and click on save changes if you make any changes and we're done with the woocommerce let's look at the services page and here you can see we have the 404 page and this is the default image if you want to add your own image you can do it by clicking on upload button and here you can see we have some text if you want to make any changes into this text you are free to do it and make any changes that you like and you can change this text as well go back home or when someone click on this button go back home where they will go they will go to the shop page or you can send them to home page as well if you want just by removing this shop page link next we have the contact us button this button will also appear when they land on the 404 page and after clicking on the contact us button what will they see they will see the contact us page as you can see which is good so by default this is a absolutely fine you don't have to change anything over here okay next we have the additional in the additional we have some code snippet so in this tab do not add any code unless you know what you're doing keep it as it is so this is your theme settings so with that we're done with this step let's go to the dashboard and let's proceed with the next step okay guys so in this step we're going to look at how to customize your website so first of all let's go to the home page of your website and here you can see we have this button right here customize click on that okay so right now we are inside the customization section in the left hand side we have all the elements that we can use to customize this website okay first we have the header in the header you can see we have the header settings in the header settings we have the sticky header behavior auto hide sticky header on scroll or you can always show sticky header disable sticky header it's all up to you but i recommend you to keep it automatic hide sticky header when scroll so leave this as it is search form placeholder text what do you want to find this is the text if you want to change something you can simply type something like search your products something like that and this text will be changed as you can see the text has been changed so type anything you like if you want to add a shadow you can check this box and now you'll see additional shadow over here so i'm going to keep it unchecked if you make any changes don't forget to click on publish button it will keep your changes saved let's go back logo and site identity inside this we have the site title you still have the option to change your site title and tagline and here you can replace this logo with your own logo just click on select image and upload your logo file over here if you do not know how to create a logo you can do one thing you can go to my channel youtube.com slash runnersvfx.com and over here just come over here in this search bar and type in logo press enter it will show you these logo tutorial by watching these logo tutorial you can create a logo within five minutes for free watch those videos and create your free logo after doing it let's go back here and upload your logo file over here just seek for the video tutorial let me quickly upload my logo so i'm going to drag and drop this logo over here after that i'm going to click on select and now you can see the changes right away amazing next you can add a favicon icon as well like this okay so select the icon upload a file this time i'm gonna drag and drop this logo file over here click on select and then click on crop image now you can see the image right there once you make any changes click on publish let's go back next we have the account make sure you turn it on header navigation here you can see we have the sort product on home page by sort by popularity sort by most recent price and so on so leave it as it is uppercase will be fine text color you can change the text color from here for me it's good 
I'm showing you things that are available for you to changes. But in your case, you have to have make any changes according to your brand. Okay. And here you can see we have one, two, three, four tabs over here. Like as you can see, top selling and we have the best deal and so on. And we have some emojis and we have the text as you can see. And of course, we have some links over here. You're free to customize these tabs however you like. If you want to remove these tabs, all you have to do, just remove the link and the title. The tab will be removed. Okay, so I'm going to quickly undo things. So in this way, you can remove these tabs. Next, we have the show featured products. If you want to show the featured products, you can do that as well. You can change the title if you want. Next, we have the all products and we have this categories under the menu, all products. You can change this category if you want. Okay, once you make any changes, don't forget to click on publish. Let's go back. And here you can see we have the header cart, header cart icon and colors. You can change any icon and you can replace any color that you like. Let's go back. Go back once again. So we are done with the header. We have the footer area. In the footer area, you can see we have the widgets. You can edit the widget if you want. But before adding the widget, make sure the column is set to four. As you can see, there are four columns. One, two, three, four. Let's click on edit widget, footer one. You can see first we have the contact, which is right here. We have the contact details. You can replace these details with your own. I recommend you to remove this address and add only your email address, your email address under the contact. And next we have the company info. Title should be company info and the menu. This is the menu of this company info. In this menu, you have to add more pages, your important pages for e-commerce website. All these pages will be available in the video description. So make sure check out the video description and create your important pages for your Alibaba dropshipping website. So in the similar way, you can customize anything you like. And over here, you can see we have the ADS social icons, which is right here. On the top, we have the title followers or follow me, whatever you like to type in, just type in over here. We have the Facebook URL, we have the Instagram URL, and we have the Twitter and so on and so forth. Okay, once you make any changes, don't forget to click on publish. Let's go back. So in the similar way, go through these items and or customize your website however you like. Another way to customize your website is when you see this type of pencil icon, you can click on this pencil icon. It will take you to that element section to edit that element. If you want to edit this section, click over here. You can see this is the cart page. If you want to edit this banner, you can click over here. You can hide the banner. You can show the banner and you can change the front front page banner for desktop or front page banner for mobile from here. If you do not like this banner and if any case you want to change this banner, design your banner using free Canva account or any free editing software and then come back to this page and upload your banner file. Once you do it, don't forget to add your shop page link over here. Next, if you want to add front page video, you can enable that video by clicking over here and then you have to add the video ID. Okay. If you make any changes, don't forget to click on publish. Let's go back here. In the similar way, you can customize your homepage using these pencil icon. If you want to change this copyright text, click on this button and it will take you to the copyright area. Scroll down. This is the copyright area. And from here, you can type the name of your site. Fix it ride.com copyright dot all right so once you make any changes click on publish again you can customize literally anything that you like from this page and finally make sure you add only those payment method icons that are available on your website currently this website has a paypal and mastercard and visa card so i should add only those type of payment method icons that are available to customize these icons, all you have to do, you have to go to the uh, footer area, scroll down and you can see these are the payment methods and these are the icons. So keep only those icons that are available on your website as a payment method. 
okay so i'm gonna remove this one discovery remove it or you can click over here if you click on remove it will remove the image not uh, icon so in order to remove them you have to click on this button expand them remove it if you want to add more icons you can click on add icons add an image and there you go so in this way you can add as many payment method icons as you want so here you can see i have the paypal i have visa i have so on and so forth so in the similar way we have the trust batches if you want to show them you can turn it on otherwise you can disable it okay so i like to keep it as it is these are the icons you can change it however you like once you make any changes don't forget to click on publish it will keep your changes saved so there you go this is how you customize your website spend some time on this section this is so simple to customize your website however you like let's close this out and with that we are done with the customization section now let's look at the menus area of your website of your mouse over here appearance and click on menu and here you can see we have three menus over here company info main menu and purchase menu in the main menu we select the main menu and click on select you can see there is nothing over here you can add as many items as you want on this menu for example if you want to categorize your product you can create a menu accordingly and then after creating a menu click on this button it will add that menu over the top it will replace this menu with your own menu okay so with that we are done with the customization section now it's time to show you guys how you can create a coupons code so that you can display the coupons code in the front end or the home page of your website let's go back to the back end of your site hover your mouse over marketing and click on coupons and now you are ready to create your first coupon click on add coupon here you have to type the coupon code you can type whatever you like or you can use this generate coupon code button it will generate the coupon code for you randomly i like to type the coupon code fix it 20 so the way i like to create a coupon code I use percentage discount you can use fixed discount fixed product discount whatever you want to select select from here I usually keep it percentage the amount 20% allow free shipping if this coupon grants a free shipping you can check this box but in our case if you remember we have created a free shipping on all the products available on our website so in that case we want check this next expiry date if you leave it as it is this coupon code will remain forever let me add expiry date the time i'm recording this video it's october 23 2023 let's change the expiry date it will expire on 30 november 2023 and after adding that date let's look at the other tabs usage restriction here you can add minimum spend or maximum spend for this coupon code if you type one that means your customer can spend one percent of the coupon code and if you add two or five whatever you, number you want type over here just type for example five your visitor or your customer can spend five percent of this coupon code okay out of the 20 percent so i'm going to leave it as it is individual users only if you check this box your customer cannot add more than one coupon code if this coupon code is applied exclude sale item you can exclude this coupon from the sale item if there is any sale running on on your website on any product type you can exclude this as well next to the product you can apply this coupon code to specific product you can exclude this coupon code from specific product in the similar way you can apply this coupon code to the product specific categories right now we have only one category and you can exclude this coupon code from the any category that you like next we have the allowed emails you can restrict any user from here currently there is no restriction next we have the use limits here you can see we have the users limit per coupon unlimited uses or one time keep it one time for new user limit uses to x item limit uses per user leave them blank after doing it click on publish your coupon will be created there you go you have your first coupon now it's time to show you guys how you can fulfill the order when you receive it on your website okay so for that let's go to the dashboard now open a private window and open your website and let's pretend as a customer for example let's say i want to buy this item click on that by the way you can display your coupons code on your home page 
and let's choose the variant after choosing the variant click on add to cart now click on checkout now you have to fill in the billing details over here for that i'm going to generate a fake us address let's type in fake us address generator in google and open any website let's open the first website and here i'm going to copy and paste all the details from this page first i need a name we copy the name paste the name over here let's add a last name as well a company name optional country united states street address i need a street address let's copy the street address paste in here let's add a city this is the city copy it paste it over here a state state is this one copy this is the state and next i need a zip code this is the zip code paste the code now i need a phone number copy the phone paste in over here now i need a email address so for that i'm going to open a temp mail so this is the temp-mail.org and here i'm going to grab the temporary email copy to clipboard come back here paste in over here now your customer can create an account using this checkbox click on create account and type in the password if your customer wants to ship this product on different location they can check this box otherwise they can leave it as it is this billing details will be the same shipping address now check this box click on paypal and now we have to type in the sandbox email and password in order to complete this purchase for that let's go to developer.paypal.com now i have to log in now type the password click login now i need to add the two factor authentication code over here click continue okay okay once you land on this page click on home right now you can see this is the address developer.paypal.com slash dashboard and here scroll down click on sandbox account and remember when we're creating a app for our sandbox account during that time we have to select the sandbox account the account that we have selected that time this one right here business account now we need the information from this account let's go here three dot click on view slash edit account click on that and now we need a email and password copy this email so before i fill in the details of the sandbox i forget something that i want to show you i forget to show you guys this coupon code how this works I have a coupon code click over here and type in your coupon code fix it 20 and click apply and you can see the changes over here you can see your customer will get 20 percent discount on this product now you can click on paypal type in the email that we just copied click next now we need a password come back here sandbox now copy the password and remember this is your personal sandbox account do not copy the information from business sandbox account copy the information from personal sandbox account after copying the password come back here paste the password and click on login click on accept this is cookie now you can use this paypal balance which is the fake money to complete this payment click on complete purchase and there you go all right guys so you can see we have successfully complete the payment using the sandbox account when someone complete a payment they will redirect to this page where they can see the order number order date email total amount and rest of the information amazing right let's go back to the dashboard of your website and now let's see how you're going to fulfill that order because we just receive an order refresh the page when you refresh the page you will see a new order under your woocommerce order click on that there you go you can see we just got our order one minute ago click on that to open the order details here you can see all the information like billing address shipping address and the product and the shipping type free shipping now all you have to do is you have to click on this button sazam place order automatically you know what gonna happen is when you click on this button alibaba.com will open in a new tab all the information like billing information shipping information will be filled in automatically it is just like we are used to use the ali dropship plugin all the information will be filled up automatically all you have to do you have to complete the payment that's the only thing you have to do manually rest of the things will be done by this plugin let's click on this button and let's see so currently i think i'm facing some kind of technical issue this button is not working for me but it will work for you if there is any bug company will fix the bug and you will be able to place an order automatically using this button okay i don't know if this happening only to me but i believe this company is specialized to design a premium quality dropship plugins if there is any kind of bug 
they will fix it in a new update so you don't have to worry about that if any case this button doesn't work what you can do is you can open the same product page by going to products all products open link in a new tab and let's search the product just copy the name come over here type the name and search the product and this is the product when you see the product click on view on alibaba it will open alibaba.com and from here you can place an order manually amazing right so this is how you're going to fulfill that order when you receive it so that's it pretty much it guys i hope you enjoy the video if you really did don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos just like this one thank you so much for watching this video till then i'll see you guys next time